Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in here from Alexander. He's writing in, he says, Hey Matt, I'm a college student in audiovisuals and photography in Belgium. Right now I'm shooting on a Canon 60D. I have a couple of Canon lenses and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I want to step up my game. I'm looking for the perfect hybrid camera, photo and video. I was looking at the 6D Mark II for a while. When it was announced, I was blown away. A full-frame camera, perfect for my photography needs. Good ISO performance and 60 frames per second in full HD. I do not care that much about 4K, but I think that for video, that camera wouldn't be enough in the future. I really would like some more slow motion and more dynamic range. So now I'm looking at the Lumix GH5. I know this is a video beast and really professional. It's weather-sealed and has dual SD card slots. But I'm curious, the stills on this camera are nothing compared to the 6D Mark II. I saw your video about the stills in the GH5, and I'm really considering to buy this camera. I'm campus, uh, on campus, I'm doing also a lot of studio photography. On this side, this wouldn't be a problem. Next summer, I'm going to Africa for two weeks to make a photo and video documentary. What is your advice? Should I just go for the GH5 or just buy the trusty, robust Canon 6D Mark II? Thanks for your time. Really loving what you're doing, Alexander. Well, thank you, Alexander. Uh, he's got the email, or uh, the the dot com here if you guys want to check it out alexanderbarrels.com we'll see if i can remember to put that in the links below um my immediate gut reaction is to go with the gh5 and it kind of sounds like you've already figured that out the GX, gh5 is a far superior video camera than the 6d mark ii and not just for the 4k but don't underrate underestimate or underrate the 4k ability even if you don't want to shoot 4k for export the ability to take stills from 4K, to crop in, and all the flexibility you have without use without losing uh, quality by zooming in, making it look like you're shooting from different camera angles, all that type of thing is huge. And if you're getting into video and you're doing that for, for school, you're absolutely right that it wouldn't be enough camera for the future if you bought the 6D Mark II. You want the 4K ability of the GH5, and you want all the other amazing abilities. That's a really killer, top-of-the-line video camera that has features that you can't even get until you spend thousands and thousands of dollars in Canon um, at their top-end video cameras. So I would totally go GH5, and I really wouldn't be that worried about the photo quality. Um, you may be people showing comparisons. There's really not much that the GH5 can't do in relation to the 60 Mark II, and there's actually more it can do if you lose, use some of the uh, fancy adapters we have out there for, for the different things. Um, so I wholeheartedly would go GH5. And then if you wanted to, you could add a, um, an original 6D at a much less cost as a full frame camera. If you felt you wanted a full frame Canon camera for the portrait side of things, but I wouldn't even worry about that shooting the GH5. Uh, there's some great lenses out there, some great adapters, some great modifying adapters, uh, you know, boosters and things like that. I would totally go in your situation for the GH5. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go GH5? Uh, would you go with the 6D Mark II? Let us know what you would do and why. Uh, would you do with a, a split system like I suggest? I mean, you could even go GH4, which is very capable, and a 6D, probably for about the same price as buying a GH5 if you wanted to go a split system. But overall, I think you'd be very happy with the GH5, and you do you do note that you are a um, uh, audiovisual student. You're going to do some video, and a video documentary. GH5 is going to serve you much better for doing that documentary than the 6D Mark II will. But again, let me know what you guys think. What would you do and why? Which way would you go? Let's help out Alexander. Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for your question, Alexander. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.